Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So today we are going to be playing with the ABH palette, the new fall romance. And I must say the packaging is beautiful. It really is. It's back to the velvet touch. It's a pretty purple, like, it screams fall. It does. It really does scream fall romance. I will say that this palette is really a, it, it does lean very dark with the mattes but you can definitely get lighter looks out of this so I do like the fact that it doesn't go very very light by no means but you can achieve it I would say that you would probably have to bring your highlighter in for inner corner for a little bit of looks if you choose to but you can do you can use the palette as an all-in-one I did and I'm going to show you how I did it so this is the look we're going to create so the first shade we're going to go into is leather. I will say I like this leather shade. It is a very good transition shade to go with any of these shadows, whether it be purple leaning or the green leaning shades, like, or the more brown shade. Like these mattes work with this leather shade for whatever the reason. It almost looks like it's an olive green, but on the lid, it looks more of like a contour shade for me personally like it's it's kind of weird how it and if you add the green to it it does pull a little more green but when you add the purple it pulls more like I said of a contour color it's just so it's a unique color for sure the fact that it can pull with any of these shades and I like that about that shade. I really do. I think it's really nice. Now with these mattes, they do pick up a good bit. So do go in with a light hand. I will say that. And you'll see that in just a second on what happens. We're going to run that same shade under the lower lash line. Because I picked up the, uh, that's leather. I picked up crimson. And oh my goodness, did a lot come on it. On the brush. I tapped that bad boy off because I already knew, like, mm -mm. there was no way I was going to spend hours blending that out, which I will say these shades do blend out nicely though, but I'd still go in with a light hand, especially like myself a beginner because dark shades scare me, but at the same time this look didn't take that long. Okay, so now we're going to go in with crimson right here, and like I said, a good bit goes on the brush just to tap. So we're going to tap some of that off and we're going to darken up the outer corner here. And I did run it like a little bit through the crease even. I mean it is a pretty color but you see how like kind of like it's a more purpley and then that shade just that leather shade kind of just like I don't know. Like, that shade just got me, but there was another shade in another palette that did that. Like, depending on what color I powder, paired it with, it kind of did the same thing. But I like those kind of shades. I like the fact that you can do that. Now, again, I'm not good with color theory or anything like that, because, you know, that's not my wheelhouse by no means. But I like the fact that that particular shade pairs with any of these other mattes. For a transition shade to make it more comfortable than just going in with boom a color you know what I mean and I like the contour shades in there because playing with blues where I'm not a big fan of blues I realized that I really do like blue if it has a contour shade in the palette to kind of pair with it to make myself more comfortable applying the blue so with that, I've learned that I do like it like that. We're going to take that crimson shade again and run it under the lower lash line, but right up on that lash line. Again, I'm using the Tarte Fake Wake in my waterline. And my nail polish today, I think, goes with this look really well. I just bought this. It's um. 
I've really been liking this line too. It's LA Colors. It's the Gel Extreme Shine. And this is in the shade Tea Time. I've really been liking that. I don't know. At least that line of LA Color. And it lasts mm, relatively okay. I mean, I do dishes every day. So, no nail polish, let's be real, is going to last through dishes. But, and cooking and all that. So, now we're going to take this shade Midnight. And it is fairly dark. I won't lie. But, I like the shade because we're going to put it more dark on the outer here and then blend it in and it does kind of like the color kind of fades a little bit not much but a little but I do like it because if you want it to go very dark you can see that I did add a little bit of light in the middle of this one where this one ain't got it yet it just looks really dark but you know sometimes you want that kind of look I don't but some people do but I do like it when you put the one shade over top of it right in the middle of the lid to give it a little bit of light that's how I like to do my looks personally I just like brightness you know something I can go a little dark and you could just put this towards the outer portion and grab a different shade and apply it to the inner portion even if you wanted to but I kind of was going with a little bit more of a darker look because I don't ever do darker looks really like this because they do scare me but applying it this way and look how much that shadow like just blend it nicely on the lid too like that really has a good bit of payoff on it I barely touched the brush in it although this is a really good brush it's one of my favorites by Refer 2 so that could be it now we're going to take this shade Moonlight right here and I'm going to pop it in the inner corner here give a little bit of brightness and again this is where I'm talking about you do have brightness in this palette that does you know give you a little bit of light back into the look and then, and I like this brush for this too and then I think I even took it I did I took it a little bit in like that just to give a little bit of light Okay. then I took my finger and picked up that same shade Moonlight and I just you know picked it up a little bit and I'm gonna pop it right in the center of the lid just to lighten that up but I like it because it almost looks like it's pinky purple like it's got like a shift to it because of that and this is almost like a topper shade I would consider this a topper shade really but I don't know what they consider it as but I do like it right in the middle like that with that darker color because it just tones it down a little bit makes it more comfortable for myself to wear now I'm going to take that crimson shade and we're going to align the upper lash line with it and you could also line with like a um the twilight shade even it's like a gray black shade it's really pretty uh, is it though yeah it is it's like a charcoal well it's darker than charcoal though I know one thing these shadows have got pigment though that is 100% sure and I will do other looks with this palette I'll try to do like a lighter look maybe but I do like purple and I do love me pink and I just really want to put that those two shades especially the midnight and the moonlight I'm kind of interested in what the moonlight and the divine shade it's like the magenta purple would look like together because I think that would be pretty too I didn't get no I didn't get any fallout which was kind of you know that's a good thing good thing there I'm using all reference brushes today pulled out the big guns 
All right, so then all I did was I picked up my Gucci mascara and I applied it to the top lashes. about to happen. It was bound to. Wouldn't be a makeup look if I didn't mess up with mascara, right? I'm getting too close is what I'm doing. Gucci mascara too. It really just gets in there and separates and all sorts of stuff. I really, really love that tip. And then for bottom lashes, I'm going to go into my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara. And then I'll clean up that mess in a minute that I created because I um, might be creating it up there too. I just hit the top flash line, I think. I didn't want to put too much mascara on that bottom lash line though. I think I put too much on that side, but that's alright. It happens. Alright. And then that's the final look using the new ABH Fall Palette. Like, I really like this look. I think it's really pretty. It's definitely a darker look than what I usually go for but it's not too dark to where I don't feel comfortable in it and again I think it all comes down to that moonlight shade if where I topped it in the middle had I not have done that I think this would have been a too dark of a look for me to feel like me because I do like lighter brighter looks but again that's a that's personal preference there completely that has nothing to do with the palette the palette itself is beautiful i mean if and if you like the darker looks like this palette you're definitely gonna love and if, if you like shadows that are very pigment right off the bat you're gonna love it just be careful though because it it is pigmented and it it, it came to play it came to play gotta try to clean that up a little bit it comes right off I didn't get any well did I get fallout no no I didn't go to fallout that's all mascara thank you mascara me and my mess ups with mascara you gotta love that but yeah overall I like this palette you'll have to maneuver it a little bit when it comes to the darker shades that's it um if you want if you don't want them as dark just go in with a little bit and then it's not as dark as you think it's going to be really it, you, you definitely can maneuver this palette for lighter shades if you want that kind of look but if you want that deep dark saturated color payoff looks it, this is your girl this is your palette and i have seen reviews not of the palette but of like comparison and I do kind of think the Dark Edit palette from Viseart is really, really close when it comes to the mattes, of course. And maybe one, maybe two of the shimmer metallic shades could be close, but for sure the mattes. And Viseart's formula is a lot easier to work with, I think, I feel. But it's not like ABH is hard to work with either, so. But again, this is the final look using the ABH New Fall Romance palette. And I like it. And I can't wait to play with it again. And I'll do a lighter look this next time. But I think I'm going to get a good bit of use out of this palette, to be honest with you. Because I do like these shades a lot. But let me know. Did you get it? Were you thinking about it? Or are you like everyone else comparing it to other palettes? I'm curious. 
but that's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all that way you're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday and I just got my hourglass palettes in. I got the owl, which I got with number three in it, the snake palette. I put in the owl and I got the jellyfish palette, which I think I'm going to like the jellyfish more, but I uh, love the packaging to the owl. I absolutely love it, but we'll do that tomorrow. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, take care. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye.